Hello friends and family and welcome to the final day of the 2023 U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championship presented by Discraft. Coverage brought to you by Ace Run Pro and this is our last PDGA Major of the Year. My name is Holly Finley. And filling in for Raven Climb, I'm Felix Vega of Ace Run Productions, excited to bring you these final nine holes where we'll be crowning a major champion in this last FPO Major of the Year. Checking into the leaderboard through the first couple of holes, Henna and Kristen tied in first, Evelina and Own in third, and the rest of the ladies making a push for that podium finish. First up, hole 10, another par 5, 632 feet. The OB comes in quick off the tee on the left side. It actually starts at the path, but as you move down the path, it moves over to the creek's edge. A good drive will land about here, and if you get amazing past that bench, your second shot needs to go all the way up here into this gap over the crest of the hill to get yourself an eagle look. It's not necessary to play so aggressively on this hole. You could simply throw a putter the entire time and have a drop in par. Evelina up first. After two birdies in a row, she kicks to the right side of the fairway. I'd say birdie is still an option from there. Especially with her power and her shot shaping. Not sure about the eagle though. Yeah. Lucky taking the right hand side. Needs to get a little bit of a friendly roll out there. That hillside can be your friend. Looks like she's still going to be a bit pinched though on her second shot. Christy's forehand, a little miss throw on that mm. angle. She's safe. And she is out mm. of bounds on that early left section over the path. We saw Sarah take this a little bit wider on the left side in yesterday's round, this time going more straight at the central gap. Gets a little bit of a friendly roll out there, but again, she's probably going to be pinched behind that tree as well, or in front of it. This is Christie's third shot after going OB off the tee. Wants it to swing, and it's doing so. A good forehand has landed her right in the middle of the path. She's got an impressive array of shots. This is our first time seeing her on coverage, and she seems to have just about all the shots dialed in. But we haven't seen any overhands yet. Oh, that's true. Evelina just pinched off, forced to pitch out, but from there she can still get a look at Birdie. A little bit of a weird reaction on the ground there on that uh, skip shot there for Sarah. Lucky also pinched off right side, forced to just do a chip hyzer around the corner. She's in the path. This is Evelina's third shot. She's looking to get up there near the basket and get a birdie putt. I like the height Ooh. over the hill, and she's in the circle, 28 feet looking at birdie. Her putts look really strong today too. As you see, five down through the front nine, riding a heater right now and catching up some serious ground on the leaders. A nice high hyzer forehand from Christy. Oh, what a roll. Oh, and a bonus roll. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Not no. too much bonus, yeah, though. That, Not enough. too much. <laughs> back door for Sarah goes a little long. That green is fast on the back side. It does. That's slow. You can't see it from where you are, too. Of course, you have experience with playing it, but the back of it just kind of slopes and drops off fast. Lucky's forehand just didn't have enough umph, and she doesn't make it through the gap. She, she has lined up nicely with it, though. Yeah, she just had some weird footing, too. It was kind of in the mud and kind of couldn't turn because she kind of got planted in the mud there. Hokum from 28. Mm, little low. She's been a bit low today on some of her putts. A little uncharacteristic for Sarah. Evelina for birdie from 28. It's in. Evelina, that moves her to six under for the round today. A little left 
left hand side there. Christy taps in for par. She has such an interesting putting style. It's almost like Matty O-ish. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. High chest level. Yeah, and just zips it right in with spin. Lucky in for bogey and Hokum in for par. Six down so far for Evelina, making a charge off the chase. Hole 11 at the regulator, a fun par four, 531 feet. These bushes here on your right are the initial obstacle that you wanna shape something from left to right via forehand or a backhand. Anheuser that's gonna fight its way back out as OB kinda of squeezes in at the end of this fairway here on your left and right. Hopefully you have a nice easy straight shot up this hill to approach for the birdie. A relatively simple hole if you break it down. No need to get too greedy off the tee as that can get you into trouble. player like Evelina has the power to push past the out of bounds, but I saw even from Haley King, she wasn't trying to do that. Just land in bounds and you can still easily get a birdie from there. This is fighting out a bit early and that's found the out of bounds on the left, unfortunately. And that's why a lot of players are just going for a low, more conservative shot. Yeah. Because even if you get further up there, it's not its not going to give you a putt. It's just going to shorten your second shot. So is it worth the risk? Right. And with Evelina's power, it really doesn't matter how far back she is. She can obviously attack the green from just about anywhere on the fairway. One thing I do, I can't say I like it, but a bonus about going out of bounds on the left side is that you can still easily save par from there. The right-hand side is a bit more pinched off, not as easy of an upshot. Yeah. And you're typically gaining all the distance if you go OB left versus going OB right. That's a good point. Beautiful placement shot there for Lucky. Christy's second shot. She clipped a tree on that inside corner but still gets up the hill. She'll have a 50-foot birdie putt. Oh, that was looking good there. Just got clipped down by one of the last trees. Lucky with a nice forehand flex. She is up there putting for birdie. Even though Evelina went OB off the tee, it's still very easy to save par from this position. It's leaking a little right and gets an unfavorable kick at the end there. Yeah, she still got way up there. She went out of bounds so late on that hole. Oh, Hokum all over the top hat. Hokum's been all over the basket today. Yeah. Christy for birdie. She gave it a good bid. She'll have to settle for the par. Evelina had to go between two trees for that par save. She'll take a bogey. Just gonna slow down her momentum a bit here and Lucky dials it in, just sneaking over the top of the cage and bouncing in for the birdie. It's a very good forehand upshot from Lucky. It was. Christy in for par. Sarah dropping in the par as well with stool in hand. And Evelina will take a bogey here on the 11th. I think that's her first blemish of the day. It feels like it. Evelina is still the only player under par on this card. Hole 12, a downhill par 3, only 301 feet, but it feels like it plays a little longer. I've seen all shots here, mid to a speed 13, just whatever's going to get you inside the circle to putt for a birdie. I prefer to land on either side of the basket, up against the tree line, that way you're putting 
to the side of this downhill cliff. Fine landing short makes the putt very intimidating. Sometimes you're wondering if it's worth it or not. <laughs> Lucky up first after birdieing the 11th hole. And her shot is a little left, but she's given herself a 38 foot putt for birdie. The intimidating type. Yeah. We've seen all kinds of shop shapes at this hole all week. Uh, this seems to be the primary option. Kind of a flexing forehand with a little bit of finish. And that's pretty ideal there for Christy. Just notice that little trench that sort of caught her disc. Yeah. Hokum with a similar shot to Christy. And she skips over Lucky's disc, and she will have a 30-foot putt for birdie. I like this shot. Mm -hmm. It gives it a chance at the skip ace. Oh, saved by the tree line. Yeah. Evelina putting for birdie from my favorite position. Lucky. Lucky. Drops it in. A little downhill bid for the birdie. She didn't even look like she needed to think about it. Not at all. Evelina for birdie. Clips one of those trees on the right there that you almost don't even think about it, but you, you don't. Know, it just kind of hang over just enough to be a problem. Hokum hits the top band on the basket, and she is just all over the basket today. Birdie in for Christy. Yeah, she missed low on hole 10, and then it's been high, high on the next two putts. So it's like she's trying to adjust. Evelina back to the good side, taking home a par here on the 12th. It's not quite a bounce back stat, but it definitely helps to stop. You don't want that momentum of all of a sudden one bogey turns into two, turns into three, and then you're like, well, now the round, the round is shot, <laughs> and you just feel helpless. I do not like the bogey snowball. Yeah. Hole 13, another par four, 583 feet. This one is a tricky one, but a fun one nonetheless. Off the tee here, you're really just playing a putter or maybe a mid-range placement shot somewhere around these two gaps here on the left-hand side. You're then going to approach over the water, carrying the entire way up this hill, about 300 feet or so, to punch up to this log here. If you can get it somewhere around here, your disc will kind of flare up towards the basket to give yourself a look for a birdie, but make no mistake about it. This is ranked the second hardest hole all week for a reason. Lorenzen up first, forehand placement off the tee, and she has landed in the center gap to the right of the new relief area. Nice wide hyzer here for Christy, looking to crash in. It's gonna be maybe a little tricky. We'll see how her line looks from there. I see an Anheuser in her future. Hokum with a low forehand off the tee skips over the edge of the mulch furthest drive of the group mm -hmm. thus far. Evelina with a soft putter throw there. It looks like she barely threw it and she's into that mandatory relief area that's been added because of the uh, that hanging widow maker above that tree. Shout out to Yvonne for spotting on this hole all week. Lucky with a standstill turnover backhand. It has given her a 55 foot uphill putt for birdie. So it's like a relief from like the one you went in. Like, you get a off of it from where it went in. Yeah, Evelina was unfamiliar with that new relief area there. The card mate's coming in and explaining everything to her, and she pumps the second shot way up the hill and is just outside the circle, pin high on the right-hand side, looking at a birdie. This second shot is one of my favorite shots on the course. And Christy, what power in an awkward stance, standstill, forehand over the water. Hokum's like, oh, wait, I can do that. <laughs> Wow. Ends up in a similar spot, a little bit more to the right. I have some options from down there. Christy this may be doing a little scouting to see what the line looks like. For sure. Hokum pitching up, playing the hole for par. Smart. 
Ooh. A late tree there. Christy's upshot leaves her at circle's edge. Lucky made good for that awkward gap she had to work with. She really did. And on the way off the top of the band there. I don't think I've seen Christy lay up yet. Evelina for birdie from right outside the whiskers. It's too low. Didn't quite have the gusto she needed. No, that one. Two left on the comeback, oh, and yeah. she is out. She'll have to settle for a drop-in bogey. That's disappointing. She had a good birdie streak going. She did. And now it's getting later in the round, as you can see her checking her phone there to look at scores. I have played with her and seen her scrolling on U-Disc a time or five. Mm. <laughs> Get some encouragement there from the crowd as we get ready to move on to hole 14. Love seeing all the spectators out this weekend. VIP passes, people who came out in the rain. We really appreciate you guys supporting the ladies. Hole 14, par four, an uphill 547 foot hole. Step number one, get through the gap. If you can push your distance, that would be preferred, but don't turn it over too far because you've got that out of bounds road on the right. Ending, landing at the top of this knoll or past it would be ideal. That'll give you about 250 to 300 into the green. I like my second shot to go to the right and hyzer in, hopefully for a drop in birdie. Lucky up first with a D3 off the tee. It's high. She hits that right corner tree and drops down short. We've seen Sarah play this hole very well all week. Step one is get out the gap, and she has done that successfully. Christy with a low shot, but successfully through the gap as well. Can't wait to see where this ends up. Evelina, max distance past the knoll. <laughs> yeah, she's on the back side of that slope. That is impressive. Maybe a little frustration pull there from the previous holes, and she got to release one. This is Lorenzen's second shot. She's going for max distance, trying to get it as far as she can. Birdie is out of the question from there, unless she has a throw in. From where Christy is, it's about 315 feet. Very doable. Just need to get close and get yourself a putt. Oh, she's she, right at the edge. She's done just that. Sarah with a beautiful flexing forehand fighting back towards the pin and she's well inside the circle with a birdie look. Wow, Evelina probably has about 250 into the pin from there. A little spike forehand just outside the bullseye. Easy work of this hole for Evelina so far. Lucky's third shot. Nice standstill chip. Ooh. She's in the bullseye. Good control on that. A little bit low on right hand side there on the putt for Christy. Soak him for birdie. And that one's low. Oh my goodness. I feel you. I, I've been there. A hokum could be a handful under par if those mm -hmm. putts were going in. Evelina makes good for the birdie and she's back to five under for the round. Or a handful under par. Lucky in for par. Hey, Christy, it's almost like a shot put throw, like a reverse shot put into the uh, into the chains. I like it. Hokum drops in her par here on the 14th.
Sarah on the par train right now in this back nine. At Discraft, we don't wait to see what the future holds. We build it. The future is in your hands. Welcome back everybody, hole 15. This is a fun one, par three, 333 feet. You're going from a wide open fairway into a narrow wooded fairway at the end of this hole. Trying to get your disc to funnel into this tunnel. Funnel and tunnel rhyme, I like saying that. And then have it. it filter all the way down and into the green here on the slight right hand turn. Uh, you don't really need a right turning shot though, just a straight shot gets you a look for the birdie on this one. No need to get suckered into uh, playing into their games. Well said, Felix. I found the more I try to shape the shot, the more I end up in that right corner. A straight shot will get you inside the circle, putting for birdie. And Evelina busts through the right corner a bit. She still has a birdie look. Maybe some twiglets in her way. I'm just gonna need to turn a little more and a little faster. Gets caught up, but gets a favorable rollout to the center of the gap there, giving her plenty of options to get up and down for par. Or she's really feeling frisky to try to throw it in. I'm looking for a throw in. <laughs> Hokum forehand off the tee. And she has leaked into that left area. Christy nearly had that thrown on hole six earlier in the round. This one fighting out a bit early towards the left-hand side and kind of filters, unfortunately, through everything. You would expect that to kick something and stay in the middle, but just kept fighting to the left. Lucky has a 90-foot upshot. little forehand chip will give her a par putt. Easy little chip up there for Sarah. And again, Christy giving it a bid. I like Christy's playing style. Mm -hmm. Evelina for birdie. Get it. Oh, had the height on it. Just a little too much hyzer angle out of the hand. Finish left. Evelina in for par. High in the chains. I gotta say her confidence on her putt from even as early as this season earlier on. It's just night and day. Like the, the last couple of tournaments, she misses a putt, and there's no more fear of missing a 15-footer or 20-footer. She's banging the comeback putt. That could be a real problem for the ladies. She Love to see it. <laughs> building that confidence. Two-thirds of the way through this final round here for it's this major championship. Hole 16, another par 5, 887 feet. Off the tee, it looks like you want to shoot it through the gap, but that's kind of tough and completely unnecessary. Landing just short of this middle section of trees will work just fine. Then you can use a max distance shot for your second shot, and the third shot is going to be more about accuracy and placement. I like a straight shot with a mid or a little hyzer with a fairway. Trickle right in here near this elevated basket. Get yourself a look at a birdie four. The trouble on this one would be turning your disc over into the woods on the right, which would force you just to waste a stroke and pitch out. Good Evelyn, Lord. That's the first person I've seen go, I said it wasn't necessary. So unnecessary. I lied to you. <laughs> But it's still fun. Wow. It's the, really the first person I've seen successfully make it through that grouping of trees all week. <laughs> this is more of the shot you'll see from the majority of the di division. Sarah going with the flex forehand play, having this come banking back to the right. Stay towards the middle. See if that tree is going to be an issue for her. That tree looks annoying so close to the disc. <laughs> 
Christy with a nice flat release, moving her over here to the left side gap. Mm -hmm. She might actually have a choice of both gaps. Yeah, I was thinking that. Lucky lining up that left gap, a little bit of Anheuser, getting some distance out there and having a fight back over to the meat of the fairway on the left. We've seen a lot of shots kind of leak to the right. Today wasn't necessarily a windy day, uh, but there's been a couple rounds where a couple of Aaron shots are getting pulled to the right. Christy set up perfectly for that left gap. She's a strong second shot from her. Hokum pinched up against this tree, a little tiptoe step. And she got some good distance on that little tiptoe, didn't she? Fights her way back out to the middle of the fairway there. And finally, we get to Evelina's drive. Well, it's about time. <laughs> Big booming hyzer on the right-hand side. She says it was a bit nose up, but it looked fine to me. And from here, Lucky has about 300 into the basket, but she threw it right at the basket, so now it is hyzering left. In an elevated basket, she's going to have a 45-foot putt from the woods. Little caddy consultation. <laughs> this is not a putt you want to lay short. You really need to get it as close as possible. It's another one of those intimidating putts. I mean, Valerie Mondujano might not think so, mm. but... <laughs> oh, Sarah, a little spicy and is going to end up just outside of the circle on the right-hand side. Evelina has about 120 into the green. Forehand putter Beautiful. will put her at 16 feet looking mm -hmm. at birdie. And this is where Lucky's upshot landed. Doesn't look like a legit putt. No. She's Not enough ceiling. Punches it through the doggy door there and gets it up to the uh, to the pin nicely. Holcomb okay, wants no part of it. Interesting. Okay. It's it's not surprising though, since her putt isn't connecting today. Christy very much connecting on this one. Mm -hmm. Taking home a birdie here on the 16th. Puts her even for the round. Birdie there for Evelina Solonen on the 16th, bringing her to six down for the round and 10 down overall. A couple of drop-ins here to close out the 16th. And we got a fun one coming up, hole 17. We've seen fireworks all week. Ace runs, ace runs. Mm -hmm. And here it is, hole 17 at the regular par three, 328 feet. Shout out to Jordan Linz, who actually aced this during practice. Check out her Instagram to see that cool shot. Uh, you really got a couple different gaps to choose from. The primary gap here is the center one that the drone is slowly approaching here. We've seen shots a little bit wider, this big dark tree on the right hand side. You want to finish either around on the right hand side or have something that fades in just inside of it to give yourself a look at the birdie. A pretty generous island here, but we have seen some people go OB on it this week so far. Evelina up first. Looks like a putter, but she's pulled it to the right pocket and there is a lot of safe space to work with over there. And she's found it. She'll have a very long look at birdie. It seems like that's the miss. You want to miss right versus left. The OB kind of comes in a little bit closer on the left-hand side. This is looking straight OB out of Christie. It needs some favor, and it's not going to find it. OB left. Unfortunately, she'll be heading to the drop zone. It was just too high and too left immediately out of the hand. that tree beautiful shot there lucky hits the main gap right past the pot spotter tree putting for birdie from 18. Oh, look at this shot shape from sarah hokum chain high buzzing by the right hand side beautifully done christy gives it a jumper Drop in par for her. A little 
Bill from the PDJ in the background watching. As Evelina leaves that one just short there, she'll have to settle for the par here on the 17th. This is Hokum for birdie. Oh my. oh my gosh, these baskets need to let Sarah's putt go inside the chains. Hokum with another taste of the basket, but it does not stay in. Ooh. Lucky scoots it on in for the birdie. Over the nubs for the birdie. <laughs> This is such a cool section of the course. You've got the, the three holes kind of centered around here, and you've got the uh, the bleachers there, people watching. Nice little boost of energy before you get to the final hole. There's also uh, some sheep and goats in the background yes. up there. Another course bonus. Exactly. Evelina and Lucky sitting under par for this round. Missy, Ooh. taking the risk. Welcome back, Ace Runners. The final hole, USWDGC. This is the 18th, the par four, 526 feet. This creek here is not out of bounds, it's just a relief area, but your drive needs to get through the gap, and if it can move a little left, that's a bonus. The second shot, it's a fun one. You can take this main fairway or cut the corner there for a sneaky birdie look as well. It's very easy to play this hole for par. Trying to get greedy is what's gonna get you in trouble. I love the variety of shots people are utilizing on their second shot. Lucky up first. Hits a tree, falls early, short of the creek. She could still get par from there. Yeah, all hope is not lost. It's definitely a hole they can just cut up into chunks, play it smartly, and still get a par, like you said. Or you can do that. Oh, watch out now, Barry Schultz. Barry Schultz, <laughs> did that disc hit his shoe? I don't think he expected it to go that far. Barry Schultz has been out here spotting for us on the 18th. We appreciate that. Oh. It's gone into that relief area there. On the left-hand side of the bridge. Christy with a perfect Ooh. shot. It's a weird root skip, but yeah. still she's in great position. Definitely robbed her of probably 20, 30 feet. Ooh. Lucky takes the risky, smaller route, not the main fairway, and it has paid off for her. She cut the corner, and she's on the good side of the fairway now. Beautiful shot shape there for Sarah Holcomb, getting to the middle there. Getting all the way down, just outside the circle, with what looked like no more than a flick of the wrist for Christy. That was incredible. Also hugging that corner so tightly and successfully getting around it, it's not an easy shot. Evelina does just the same and she is up there putting for birdie. Lucky needs to get up there and give herself a putt to save par. And she has wow. done just that. It looked like she may have slipped a little bit on the end of her throw there, but. 20. Didn't hinder the result. No, not at all. Sarah sliding on down and joining the bunch. That forehand really is what you need for this upshot. Otherwise, it's a really miraculous backhand Annie or even a roller. I haven't seen any rollers this week at it. It's kind of sad. Me too. <laughs> Evelina with a long birdie bid. She'll have a drop in par. Fantastic tournament for Evelia Solon and something to build on here as she has towards the uh, tour championship next week or two weeks. Christy gives it a bid, but no connection. She's right under the bucket. And Hokum for birdie for par. It's Got in! It. That's the putt we've been looking for. Mm -hmm. Look at Sarah's back nine. 
all grace just pars along the way but like you always say if your mistakes are pars and you're having a good day lucky leaves her putt just a bit shy as evelina drops in her par leaving her at six under for today's round par for christy it was fun having her on the car for the first time hopefully it won't be the last She's Lorenzen. got some game for sure. Man, she's got all the game. Mm -hmm. Lorenzen taps in for bogey. And that's it. The final day of the USW DGC. I'm so sad it's over. It's a fun gathering of all the women here to celebrate us. And Kristen Tatar has done it again. A historic sweep of all the majors for FPO in 2023. Never done before, unbelievable. Just an incredible talent and a great showing overall by all the ladies. It was a battle this last day and all throughout the week. Congrats to Own for second place and is that Henna in Hena third? Henna in third, yeah. Well done. We appreciate you guys checking out all the action here on Ace Run Pro. Check us out on all of our socials at Ace Run Pro. And if you want to support my amazing commentary partner, Holly Finley, how can they do so? You can go to PharmaCBD.com and use code HOLLY for 20% off all products. Or if you'd like to get one of my Tour Series discs, you can do that. It's a star color glow it available at your favorite online disc golf retailer or for the best prices, get from Innova directly. Thanks we'll so much for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.